What's up guys, Texas Fish Guy here. Um, about to head out today, it's Saturday after Thanksgiving. It's a beautiful, semi-cloudy, no wind day. Uh, it's 11.10, uh, try to get down to our spot. We're gonna go down to Churchill Bayou today. Um, my buddy's been going to another spot. He's been, he's gone the last two days, hadn't done any good there, a few dinks. So we're gonna go try a new spot. We're gonna go try to uh, go to Churchill Bayou. Um, go out there and throw some corkies, top water, some down south lures. Uh, if it resorts to it, have to throw some gulps. But uh, well, see you out there on the water. I'll get you some water footage. Peace out. We just loaded at Confederate, what we call Rebel Ridge. Um, I'm gonna go try out here. Figured it's closer. There's some boat traffic over there. We're gonna go try along the reef, some mullet. Um, you don't wanna pass up too many days like this. Nice and calm, overcast. Um, usually when we fish this, it's rough, so. Do get a lot of traffic. We'll get back to you. Give you all a little bit of uh, conditions. Overcast, 71 degrees. Water temp is at 64. Incoming tide, two tide day today. Uh, low tide was at 940. High tide is at 520. Uh, we've got two foot of water coming in, which is good. I can all see current over here already. Um, water's clear, about two foot of visibility. So uh, just wanted to give the conditions. I'll get back to you when I get some fish on. Well, we tried a little bit at the reef. Um, a lot of boat traffic. Uh, there's still some boats over there, somebody playing rap music real loud on their boat. Uh, it's just, hopefully that'll clear out this afternoon. We're going to go way back over there. Uh, bayou, we like to fish. We used to wade to it a lot. That's uh, about a 45 minute walk by via wade. Um, it's called uh, Oxen Bayou. Uh, we've had some good luck back there. I'm going to try that out, my buddies behind me he's trolling I, I was trolling kept getting hung up on oysters I said ah eh, just keep on trucking so we'll go get them I finally hooked up over here I don't know what it is but we'll see Feels like a rat red that's what it feels like yep Ain't gonna keep, but sure is pretty. Good old pretty redfish. Nice pretty blue tail. One spotter. We'll let him go. What's that? Oh, you cast right. Oh, there you go. Way to stop it. Yeah. Is there four guys on that boat? Yeah, that's the waiters. It looks like we might be able to get oxen to ourselves now. There was one more kayaker that went back there, but he looked like he went across into the marsh. <clears throat> Is this full? Always oh, pretty when they're like that. Let's do it. Back here in Oxen Bayou. It is pretty. 
pretty, pretty. No one out here. That's a little bit harder to get to. So hopefully we get some fish back here. Had some good days, had some bad days. Um, you can wait it from way over there, which is Sportsman's Road. You gotta go through all this marshland to get to it. It's pretty muddy back here. So uh, just looking for any sign of action where to cast. Um, if we can't get on any fish. This is what it's all about. It's what fishing. You're not always catching. But the beauty being out here quietly. The birds and the water. Nature. Oxen. Got one on now. Swimming right at me. There we go. A little rat red. <clears throat> it's alright. We'll take it. Pretty little fish. Cast before that I had a hit too. So let's see what happens. And moisture. We're <clears throat> getting a few bites. There's a good fish. There's a good fish. There's a good fish. Nice trout. That'll be one for the fryer. Good hook set. There we go. Rawr. That's a keeper. There we go. Gentlemen, there's another one for the stringer. Magic grass. The color.
cast, boys. And he doesn't feel as big, but oh, now he's fighting a little bit. Let's see, oh, a little rat red. Caught three or four of these guys today. Get him in and up and off. What's that? Are you angry? No. Let's see. There's two fish, two cats, two fish. Let's see if there's more over here. They just might, might have discerned, determined they wanted to eat. You throwing magic grass? No. Magic grass? Yeah, it's a good lure. It works great, that trout support lure. It's just, you know, you got to get them on the fish. On the magic grass, you're going back. <laughs> I hope I don't get shot here. You hear them bullets swinging by? You hear them bullets slinging by? I'm hearing them. I'm hearing ping, that little bullet. That's a shotgun. Yeah. That's a shotgun, isn't it? Well, yeah, I think it is, but not when you hear that little ping. Yeah. A fluke deal, I guess. Two, two for two. That trout engulfed it. He ate it. Galveston, Texas. One thing I've noticed about these bites is it's just a little tick. They're not swimming, hitting, running. They're just eating it. It comes in front of them. you fish don't bite when I got the camper going another little rat red there, there's the beautiful tail oh, that's the prettiest one yet I probably caught five of these but look at that tail that is just gorgeous pretty pretty blue thanks buddy What? A little rat red. Just barely hit it. Oh, damn it. Oh, he got off. Dang it. Probably not, felt like another little rat red. Sometimes they hit it when you're not ready. What happened? <laughs> he almost fell over setting that hook.
<laughs> Wish I would have had that on video. Alright, we're going to give this spot a few more casts. We're going to have to get back with the cloud cover. we got a long ways to go. We're probably close to two miles away from the launch. So, uh, guys, if I don't turn y'all back on, I appreciate everything. It was a great day on the water. Um, and uh, it was a great day on the water. Every day on the water is a great day on the water. Tight lines. Then I had to take a video of this. If that ain't the coolest looking clouds up there I have ever seen. They're just wispy. It's cool looking. Beautiful day in nature and I just got a fish. There we go. Oh, that worked out good. Here we go. Good little trout. Good big trout. Good eating trout. Get him in here. There we go. This guy. There we go. Another good one. I'm going to take the shortcut through here. Let's see if I can get this on. And number three. Number three. Can't beat that. A nice little string. Alright. Well, come back here. Do this. Take this. Oh, get that back in here. Alright. That'd be a good way to end the video. That's the case, keep it up. All right guys, I'm officially on my way in. Um, broke off on the rocks, trying a couple spots there on the way in. I said, I've had a good day. I'm not gonna sit there and retie. It's got cloud cover, it's getting late. Um, I've still got a long ways to go. Don't wanna get loading with the boat traffic out here and being in the dark, so playing it safe should do I've got a few fish down there and uh, I appreciate y'all watching Texas fish guy 74 signing out I enjoyed it now one good thing today I learned uh, my depth finder the battery went bad on it last time I went out it lasted about an hour and a half <clears throat> I use a little 12 volt deer feeder battery I uh, went to Walmart, bought another one, $23. I uh, wanted to make sure it worked. It's still going strong. My depth finder's still working. Uh, depth really doesn't bother me. I use it for my GPS, and that's, uh, that's what I like about it. So, um, as I said, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time out on the water. Tight lines, everyone.